in low voltage switch gear or even in the medium voltage switch gear we have two different types of uh, switch gear basically one is the fixed type a switch gear and another one is the withdrawable type fixed type as you can guess it's fixed inside the panel so for example circuit breaker it's fixed inside the panel withdrawable type is the type which you can remove from the panel and replace it as and when needed in this video we are going to discuss about what is the difference between these fixed type switch gear and withdrawable type switch gear uh, majorly you will see we get uh, option for circuit breaker which can be fixed or removable we get option for vts uh, in medium voltage switch gear uh, which can be taken out or can be fixed now these are the variants which is most commonly seen in air insulated type of switch gear just keep that thing in mind so let us understand what is the difference between these two types of variants so first let us start with the very basic understanding that is the difference between the construction of these two variants so fixed type as you can see and also based on the name as you can imagine these are the type of switch gear or type of breaker which is fixed permanently inside the panel okay so with the help of nuts and bolts we will make the connection very tight and it is fixed in the panel permanently uh, the bus bar will also be connected so that is fixed and you cannot of course remove that from the panel unless you do it manually the another type of variant that we have is a withdrawable type a circuit breaker now these are the circuit breaker which is put inside the panel but they are not fixed permanently you can take them out with the help of a handle as and when needed so that's why the name is withdrawable type or removable type and we can remove that breaker as and when needed uh, as per the requirement so here is the example that you can see uh, the breaker is uh, taken out from the panel now this operation is what we call as rack in or rack out now the question is why do we need such kind of arrangement well the one and the most important is to have the service continuity so for example it's let's say something goes wrong with the circuit breaker uh, if you have a fixed type breaker uh, you will need a lot of time to remove that breaker and replace that but if you have a withdrawable type it is very easy to remove that breaker and put it a new one there and have uh, the supply continuity so that is one of the major aspect why uh, you know customer choose to have the withdrawable type uh, variant over the fixed type variant plus it also gives a, a more safety compared to the fixed type because when you remove the breaker you have a visible isolation uh, in the panel so that is considered as more safer option and that is the reason why uh, we do have uh, uh, you know the option of a withdrawable type circuit breakers now if you see the breakers in front of you and if you have to identify which one is the fixed type and which one is the withdrawable type uh, how you can identify that let us understand that so you can see on to the left hand side this is the breaker now these are the images of uh, the air circuit breaker which is used in the low voltage uh, system but this is also true for the medium voltage circuit breakers so this is the fixed type variant and you can see this we have arrangement here to you know provide nut and bolt and fix it on the panel on the other hand if you see the withdrawable type circuit breaker which is this one uh, you can see we have additional frame here outside of uh, the breaker now this is the frame which we need to have a successful rack in and rack out operation so a fixed type variant will not have that additional frame but a withdrawable type will have that additional frame and that's how you can identify uh, the difference between fixed and withdrawable type just by looking at the breaker in case if you get a chance to see those breakers definitely have a look at them and you will find this frame on the withdrawable type circuit breaker additionally you can also identify which one is the fixed one and which one is the withdrawable one by just looking at the single line diagram the single line diagram differentiates the fixed and withdrawable type circuit breaker by putting this brackets you can see these are the brackets under that bracket we have used this circuit breaker symbol here you can see for every panel uh, it's the same uh, if it's not the bracket then there will be arrows indicated here uh, but it basically means the same thing that means these breakers are removable or it could be a voltage transformer also so you can see this symbol here uh, here we have provided a bracket that means this voltage transformer is a removable voltage transformer you can remove it from the panel as and when needed if it is a fixed type a variant then you won't see these brackets or any kind of arrows marked there it will be just a direct connection so that indicates it's a fixed type circuit breaker 
clear it's very important that you understand uh, how to identify the fixed type or a withdrawable type variant of circuit breaker or uh, voltage transformer in switch gear uh, which takes us to the next point of uh, comparison which is the service continuity now we we did talked about this uh, briefly uh, in few minutes ago so let's say if you want to carry out maintenance on a fixed type circuit breaker now it is definitely unsafe to carry out the maintenance while the supply is on right now the supply won't just go off just by turning off uh, the circuit breaker because the bus bar to which we have connected this circuit breaker will still have uh, the supply right so you have to ideally disconnect the supply coming from the upstream right from any other substation from where the supply is coming you will have to disconnect that and then you can carry out the maintenance on this circuit breaker uh, with safety but without that it is definitely a challenge a risk to carry out the maintenance on a such type of uh, this thing so you need a complete shutdown basically to carry out the maintenance so service continuity is definitely affected in uh, this kind of arrangement now if this is the main circuit breaker the main incomer circuit breaker then uh, definitely all your feeders uh, needs to be shut down uh, to have the safe environment on the other hand uh, for the fixed type uh, also for the withdrawable type variant we can carry out the maintenance without having an impact on the other feeder so you can simply remove the breaker rack out the breaker uh, do the maintenance and put it back so you're good to go so this is providing us a good service continuity compared to the fixed type variant so you don't need to have a complete shutdown in case of withdrawable type circuit breaker your bus bars can still keep carrying the power no problem at all so that is the advantage that we have and also additionally uh, you get a test position in the withdrawable type variant so we have different type 3 positions uh, that a withdrawable type circuit breaker can provide which uh, we will talk about in the coming slides so that is the uh, another important point uh, when you want to select the fixed type uh, circuit breaker and the withdrawable type circuit breaker you definitely need to consider the service continuity topic which takes us to the next point uh, which is the safety of course uh, the fixed type variant is com considered as less safe uh, while carrying out the maintenance unless uh, the supply is completely shut down so because even if you're carrying out the maintenance there might be some parts which are still live and can have the risk so this is definitely in safety point of view less safer compared to the withdrawable type withdrawable type uh, also offers higher safety because as i mentioned it provides a test position also which uh, you can put the breaker into the test position and check out the auxiliary things of uh, the circuit breaker and when you completely remove that breaker you also have a visible isolating distance which is very important by the way a visible isolating distance and that's why uh, even iec standard supports this so when you are using a withdrawable type circuit breaker and when you remove that you have a visible isolation so in that case you need not to use a dedicated isolators but if you have uh, the fixed type variant then you may need to have a disconnector to have a visible isolation but with withdrawable type uh, that requirement is not there so safety wise uh, definitely withdrawable type circuit breakers are more safer which takes us to the next point and that is the space requirement now fixed type variant is is a very simple construction there are no moving parts and nothing like that is mostly the static component so uh, definitely you do not need to have huge panels to accommodate this fixed type circuit breaker or fixed type VTs because they are uh, very compact and because of that you can also make uh, the panels compact so space wise uh, uh, the fixed type variants are good but withdrawable type variant since we are having additional frame on top of the breaker and there will be a lot of interlockings provided uh, there will be rack in rack out operation happening so you need to provide a significant amount of space for that uh, this definitely needs more space compared to the fixed type variant now the difference may not be very huge uh, for example i'm just quoting a random example okay i don't take these numbers for granted so for example uh, if the fixed type variant needs 600 mm panel uh, the withdrawable may need 700 or 800 mm panel 
again i'm just quoting this random example for understanding purpose it's uh, it may not be the true it may vary manufacturer to manufacturer uh, now you may say it's just the gap of 100 mm why why what's it's not a big difference well if you're talking about just a single panel it's not a big difference i agree on that but generally you will see in the substation we will have 10 panels 20 panels 15 panels and a lot of uh, panels connected in a single row and if you add 100 mm of for each panel then the total difference will be huge enough uh, to get uh, more space so this is also important point while selecting uh, the fixed variant or a withdrawable variant uh, do you have enough space if yes uh, then definitely uh, you can go for the withdrawable type all right uh, which takes us to the next point which is the downtime during uh, the replacement now of course if let's say there is something wrong with the circuit breaker and you need to replace that circuit breaker and to replace that circuit breaker you need to take the complete shutdown of uh, uh, the panels uh, in which the fixed type variants are uh, provided and definitely uh, to recover from that you need to remove the breaker manually and screw it and then take it out and then put the new breaker screw it down connect the bus bar and then turn on the supply this takes significantly huge amount of time and wherever uh, the criticality of supply is very important for example some industries where a downtime of even one hour can cause huge money can cost huge money uh, there uh, this is a challenge uh, to have a fixed type variant so this will need definitely more time uh, to repair and uh, you know uh, to get replaced on the other hand the withdrawable type is not that complicated if something goes wrong with the breaker you simply rack out the breaker uh, quickly and swap it in with the new one this do not take much time compared to the fixed type variant so your downtime uh, in case of replacement is reduces significantly when you use the withdrawable type circuit breaker and that's also the reason why wherever the application is critical wherever the supply continuity is critical uh, the industries uh, hospitals maybe uh, it's always beneficial to have a withdrawable type circuit breaker because you can quickly remove that breaker put the new one and have the supply back in no time so that is the advantage of having the withdrawable type circuit breaker the next point is on the interlocking and the test position the fixed type variant uh, is simple in nature it's a simple uh, variant right there are no complicated moving parts nothing like that so you don't need to have any sort of interlocking mechanisms for the fixed type uh, variant so it's simple um, and there is no interlocking provided and uh, the disadvantage of uh, withdrawable type is uh, sorry the fixed type is there is no test position provided in a fixed type okay which is scattered in uh, the withdrawable type now withdrawable type also provides a test position now what is that test position uh, we'll talk about that in the next slide uh, but it provides a test position and there are a lot of interlocks that are needed uh, when you are using a withdrawable type circuit breaker for example i'll give you a quick example here let's say if supply is on and somebody is trying to remove the breaker breaker if you are trying to remove the breaker when supply is on definitely is going to create a short circuit right there will be huge arcing that can happen so to avoid that there must be an interlock the interlock is that whenever the supply is on any person should not be able to remove that breaker from the connected position that is one interlock and it's mandatory to have when we are using a uh, withdrawable type there are a few other interlocks also uh, and if you don't know what is interlock why do we need them i have a dedicated video uh, talking about what is interlock uh, what are the different interlocks that are used uh, you can go and check it out uh, in that video i'll pour, provide a link for it uh, down in the description so that is the advantage uh, that you get again with uh, the withdrawable type circuit breaker uh, the test position now let us have a look at what is the test position so this is the example of uh, mccb that we use in the low voltage system we we talked about mccbs ACC, acbs how to select them uh, what are the different parameters of uh, them how to understand that uh, in our course low voltage switchgear level 2 uh, if you are interested uh, again i'll put link for it down in the description you can go and check it out so these are the MCCB position you can see the first position uh, is the connected position which means it is connected to the bus bar the supply is on uh, the breaker is in the operation 
The second position is the disconnected position or the test position. Now, what is this position? Uh, in that position, the bus bar are uh, disconnected or the connections are disconnected from the breaker, but the auxiliary supply is still there in the circuit breaker. Right, which means if you want to test, let's say the tripping coil, the closing coil, uh, the indications, uh, you can still do that in this disconnected position safely because you have disconnected the bus bar. So that is the test position or the disconnected position. Now this is only available in the withdrawable type uh, option. It's not there in the fixed type option. Remember that. The Final position is the removed position in which the bus bars are disconnected and also the auxiliary supply is disconnected. So it's completely removed from the panel. So these are the three positions offered by the withdrawable type circuit breaker. Which uh, takes us to the next point and the more most important points is uh, the cost because ultimately everything boils down uh, to the cost of the project, right? So as you can guess the fixed type variant will have uh, the lower initial cost because it's a simple in construction there is no complicated uh, moving items there are no interlocks and things like that so the cost of uh, the fixed type variants is much lower compared to the other variant withdrawable type uh, is definitely will have higher cost because the mechanisms are complex uh, you have to provide interlocks you have to provide the rack and rack out options you have to provide the trucks on which you can take the breaker so uh, definitely this is a uh, high cost item and uh, you you need to consider that so if but if your projects demand that then definitely uh, going that uh, withdrawable type option with higher cost makes sense because uh, you cannot afford uh, the shutdown you cannot afford a longer downtime so in that case so the withdrawable type option can be the best choice and which takes us to the last uh, point and that is the application now fixed type variant are generally suitable where uh, you know the cost and the space are critical and wherever the maintenance are infrequent so wherever let's say you have a simple transformer substation unmanned substation and you know that you don't need to have frequent maintenance there uh, well you can use the fixed type variant and you will be happy and since the cost is less it needs uh, you know less space uh, the complexities are less Still, the fixed type variants are uh, the most sold one compared to the withdrawable type. Withdrawable type, of course, definitely have their own application. So wherever the applications are critical, wherever the projects are critical, uh, uptime and safety are the most important parameters. Uh, in that case, the withdrawable types are the fixed type. Uh, withdrawable type are the most uh, suitable option available. So based on these things, you can definitely make the right choice, whether you want to go with the fixed type variant or the withdrawable type variant. Please remember, everything is having their own pros and cons. And I hope uh, this video helped you in understanding uh, the pros and cons of uh, uh, the fixed type variant and uh, the withdrawable type variant. Uh, if you are want to learn more about uh, the switchgear, the medium voltage switchgear, the low voltage switchgear, or even about the circuit breaker, I have a dedicated playlist on all these things. I'll put a link for it uh, down in the description. You can go and check it out. If you found this video helpful and if you understood the basic and uh, difference between the fixed type variant and the withdrawable type variant, then do give it a thumbs up um, and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing this differentiation. All right. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next one with another interesting uh, discussion in the next video. But till then, keep watching. Keep learning.